Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici, welcome my friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Vincenzo and the name of the channel is Fountain Pen Therapy. Another inky short and this time we're going to be reviewing eight more inks from the Anderillium Ink Company. Uh, beautiful inks. I've done already the cephalopod series, you know, squid and octopus, if you will, uh, themed inks. And um, in this episode, we'll be looking at the avian series. So it's a, it's a series dedicated essentially to uh, birds. And, you know, birds are classified as avians. They're not mammals, um, notably due to the fact that they, uh, you know, they're egg birthing. And uh, um, just read you a short line from their website. From the depths of the ocean, we now turn our eyes to the skies for the inspiration for our second series of eight spectacular colors from nature's featured array of amazing creatures. So there's eight inks. They're all here. We're going to be swatching them one by one and um, take a good look at them and see what kind, of, what kind of performance they give and what kind of a result they give on Tomo River paper. And uh, we'll complete our review that way. So stay tuned. Swatching is next. Okay, folks, we're back. First of all, the journal. It's my good ink impressions from, you can buy this on Etsy. It's my ink journal, uh, as you uh, know by now, with my two uh, tools that I prefer, which are my folded, my folded pen, if you will, if you will, that does the swatching. And then just a, a nib here, um, a dip pen with a stub uh, line for the writing out of uh, the description of the uh, brand and the name of the ink, etc. So those are my two. Those are all my tools. Let's start the swatching. Get a, a brand new set of pages here. There we go. Uh, and as you can see, uh, for those of you who don't know. I do my swatching here. I put my brand name, the name of the, the name of the ink, and the date that I uh, received or purchased the ink in question, and we're all set. Okay. So, the first ink that we will be doing is this one that we'll be swatching. It's the Shoebill Stork Gray. So, just one bird amongst many. It's a black, essentially a black ink, if you will. Very wet. So, Shoebill Stork, first of all, it's Enderillium. Very wet, by the way. Shoebill. Stork Gray. And I purchased these on the June, or received them on June 30th, 2023. So that's the first thing. And of course, we'll let the, all these dry up so that we can get a better look at them once they've all shed their real colors, as they say. So that's one down. Next is this roseate or rose eight spoonbill pink. Very nice, bright color. This is, again, Enderillium. Rose 8. Spoonbill. Pink. June 30th, 2023. Again, another very nice wet ink. Let's 
Third ink of my list, the Common Loon Black. So another very dark black ink. So the first one, actually, I made a mistake. It's not black. It's a gray. As it's turning out, you can see as it begins to uh, slowly, uh, slowly dry, uh, you can see that it's a, a gray ink. Okay. Had some spilling there. Apologize. Okay. So let's look at this one. This one should be even darker. Okay. And this is the Common Loon Black. Okay. So that's that. Let me move up my journal here so it's all in sight. Fourth ink on the list, American Gold. Is that Lynch? Hmm. It may be Gold Finch. Uh, very difficult to read, I've got to tell you. Or maybe even an L there, but no, it, it's uh, difficult to read. I think it's Gold Finch Yellow. Just the... Um, the font is very difficult to read for some reason. Okay, let's see what this yellow gives. Very bright yellow, I must say. So this is Andirillium. And American. yellow June 30th you know for a yellow ink not bad because you know yellow inks are nice uh, they're a nice color but they're nice to look at but when it comes to actually using them on paper to write uh, journals etc eh, they may not be your favorite you know your quickest choices put it this way the next one is a green Kingfisher, okay, so it's an F. So the other one, that w it, there is an F. The F is a, it's a very curious um, font there, but it's Kingfisher Green. So this looks like a darker, darker green, but let's see what gives on paper. Yeah. Push that up. Yeah, so it's a it's a green, a grayish grayish green, of course of sort, I'm sorry. So that completes the first four. Go up to my top of the next page here and we'll start the next four. So the next one, actually there, there were five there. So the next, the sixth one is this indigo bunting blue. Dark blue. And you know, now that it's wet with the with the reflection, not as easy to see, but once it's dried, I think we'll get it's true. The 
as is indigo. Bunting. Blue. June 30th. Must say, I like this blue. It's a grayish blue. It's not black blue. It's a grayish blue. Very unique. I don't believe I have one in my collection that um, I may have some but from Bermini, Bern, Birmingham inks, which last time I checked don't deliver to Canada anymore for some reason. But maybe there's an ink in there that matches this one, but otherwise very unique, at least for my collection. Next one on the list is purple. Gallinule purple. So Gallinule purple. So this one is very similar to the indigo blue, but on the purple side. So it gives you that grayish, light gray tint. Very, very interesting. It's very nice. Must say, very nice. Very unique. OK, and the last one, the eighth one, is Pompadour Katinga Burgundy, so Katinga Burgundy. And it's exactly that. It's a burgundy, dark burgundy color. See how it's, what it looks like on paper. I wonder if it's going to give me that same grayish tint. If it does, it makes it very, very interesting. So this is the endorillium. Katinga burgundy. Okay, so that completes the swatching. So what I will do next is let's let all these beautiful inks dry on this beautiful paper, and uh, we'll see what results we get. I'll be right back. OK, we're back with the eight swatches that have uh, completely dried out. And we can say first comment here is that we don't see any shimmering in in these inks so um, there is there's no shimmer here these are pretty straightforward inks i would say to you that uh, there's very little shading either or sheen they're pretty straightforward inks but what i find interesting about these inks is the way uh, it's not even the swatch i think the swatch doesn't tell the full story but it's the way the way the uh, uh, they they perform in an actual writing sample. The gray you can see is a gray, um, but it's a nice gray. It's sharp. It's wet. Same thing with the pink, the black. The black is a little bit on the brown, as uh, some brown shading, if you will. Even the yellow, which is a very very bright yellow, but when you write with it, um, you know you, you you're, you're getting nice thick lines. Same thing with this dark green. I think the camera doesn't do justice to this green, by the way. Um, it's a lot lighter than what it looks. The handwriting almost looks like it's... Uh, I think you can see it a little bit better now. Yeah, there you go. See, so it is a dark green. Uh, I don't want to get you the impression that it, it's black. There is green in there, yes. Same thing here. 
So the same thing here. You could tell with this um, indigo blue, look how pretty it is, or uh, in my opinion anyway, it is much nicer uh, in the writing sample than it is in the swatch. The swatch, you pretty well, uh, you see some shading. Um, I shouldn't dismiss it. There is some, sh some shading, and there is some shading in the writing sample as well. The same thing for the purple. Uh, what I like about it is this, it's got this grayish light overtones to it, which is very pleasant and unique. Uh, I've got to tell you, I've got lots of blue inks, and um, you either get that sheen uh, or you get, you know, the darkness, the dark coloring, uh, or a straightforward blue. And then you've got the shimmering inks. But this one kind of gives you that palish blue look or purple look, which I really, really like. The burgundy, in my opinion, is a pretty, pretty straightforward burgundy. There is some, some sheening on the, on the green. Uh, you see that sheen there with some green, and you see some overtones around the A, and the camera doesn't do justice to it, but so there is some sheening there. But, you know, between you and I, you know, from sample to sample, you probably varies. It's not something that's consistent. So it, it, it doesn't allow me to give you, uh, you know, the verdict that this burgundy is a sheening or an ink with sheen, necessarily. Uh, but there you have it. So I think the characteristics of these inks are they're straightforward. I think they're manageable. Uh, very manageable and very wet inks, uh, at least from my experience. I'm going to, uh, you know, fill up a few pens and uh, try them out for a week or two or continue to try them out. And, uh, and um, we'll, see, we'll see if my verdict changes any. And if it does, I will print a retraction or I print an amendment. Uh, to my previous opinion, but I, I, I think I can, uh, can go with it. There you have it. So that's it. Thank you very much. Another inky short is completed. Stay tuned for others.